Rangers Devils at the Garden. There's always bad blood in this rivalry, but after that playoff series last year and the matchups they've had this year, you knew there was going to be something. I mean, New Jersey just went out and got Curtis McDermott from Colorado. Matt Rempe's basically become a household name in the past month. It's crazy how popular this kid's gotten. From the rookie lap in MetLife Stadium to the Showtime center stage tussles, the fun-loving interviews, the big hits, or even just how big the dude is, it's not hard to see why even ESPN is saying that Rempe Mania is taking over the New York Rangers fan base. There's a line though, and a lot of players that make a lot of money and a lot of fans walking that line very tightly with what he did to Siegenthaler yesterday he crossed it. Look, I understand the guy's six foot eight, and at that size, you have to put in more effort and be more responsible for your body out on the ice than a guy who's 5'10", for example, but that just isn't relevant on this one. He raises the elbow as he's approaching Siegenthaler. Sure, you can say that Rempe wasn't expecting Siegenthaler to hit the brakes like that after dumping the puck in, but that's also irrelevant here. Look what body part Rempe's leading with here. He needs to finish lower on that hit. There's no excuse for him to be going up high like that. McDermott was incensed after that. He wanted a piece of Rempe so bad, the refs were holding him back. Back. Rempe had already been given five in a game at that point though. He already knew he was going down the tunnel. So what does he decide to do? The good old fashioned wave to Curtis McDermott in Madison Square Garden. You know the crowd went nuts for that. That's him officially entering his villain era. Yes, he's done some stuff already. People are going to say he's already been in there since day one of his career. This guy's been trying to fight you all night. You've refused all game. Instead, you go lay out his teammate, get kicked out of the game. And then again, instead of going at it with him, you wave at him before walking off into the sunset. That was something else. McDermott also had some pretty fiery stuff to say after the game. He's a young kid in this league. He has a lot to learn still. You don't do things like that when you're in your first year in the league. I lost quite a bit of respect for him tonight. As if there weren't already enough logs on the fire for the Hudson River rivalry. Also, in case you're curious, the Rangers and Devils play again on April 3rd. That one's also at MSG in New York. What do you think Rempe's going to get from player safety? My guess is two or three games. We'll see what happens going forward, but man, this kid's making a lot of enemies out on the ice and he's barely been in the league, what, a month? Not even? This is going to be an interesting one. It's a fork in the road for Rempe Mania in New York. York. We'll see what happens. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you in the next one. You're awesome.